The air was thick with an eerie silence as I stepped into the peculiar building that seemed to defy all logic. Its entrance welcomed me with an otherworldly chill that crawled up my spine. The flickering lights overhead cast long shadows, dancing across the unnaturally green grass that covered the floors. I couldn't quite fathom the bizarre spectacle before me, this liminal space known as the grass rooms. Curiosity led me further into the building, my footsteps muffled by the soft blades beneath my shoes. Each floor I ascended revealed a new layer of strangeness. The walls were adorned with faded wallpaper that depicted scenes of forgotten memories, while the air resonated with the distant whispers of a bygone era. As I wandered deeper into the grass rooms, a growing sense of unease settled in my chest. The unnatural calm seemed to play tricks on my senses, distorting the perception of time. The corridors stretched on endlessly, and the doors that lined the hallways appeared to lead to nowhere. With every step, the atmosphere thickened, and I felt as though unseen eyes followed my every move. Shadows moved in the periphery of my vision, and the grass beneath my feet seemed to sway with an otherworldly breeze, even though the air remained still. I tried to retrace my steps, only to find the once familiar hallways rearranged like a maze designed to confound the mind. Panic set in as I realized the grass rooms were playing with the very fabric of reality. The boundaries between floors blurred, and time itself became a tangled web. Desperation took hold as I frantically searched for an exit, but the grass rooms seemed to mock my attempts to escape. Whispers grew louder, voices from the past echoed in my ears, and the wallpaper morphed into distorted faces that seemed to watch my every move. Exhausted and disoriented, I stumbled upon a room that stood out among the others. The door creaked open to reveal a surreal garden, where twisted vines and grotesque flowers reached for the ceiling. In the center, a shadowy figure awaited, an embodiment of the grass room's malevolence. Frozen in fear, I realized that I was no longer a mere visitor. I had become a prisoner of the grass rooms, trapped in a dimension where reality itself was a shifting, elusive concept. The walls closed in, the whispers turned to haunting laughter, and the grass beneath my feet seemed to consume me. As the darkness enveloped me, I couldn't help but wonder if the grass rooms had claimed countless others, lost in the labyrinth of their own making. The thing I heard was the rustling of grass, a haunting symphony that marked my descent into the depths of the enigmatic and terrifying liminal space. The sterile scent of antiseptic lingered in the air as I stepped out of my dentist's office, the memory of the painful drilling still fresh in my mind. Eager to escape the clinical atmosphere, I wandered into the adjacent building, drawn by an inexplicable force that seemed to pull me towards its mysterious depths. The transition from the dentist's office to the grass rooms was abrupt. The moment I crossed the threshold, the cold, white tiles beneath my feet transformed into a lush carpet of green grass. Confusion and disbelief gripped me as I found myself standing in a surreal landscape that defied any semblance of reality. The grass rooms unfolded before me like a dream gone awry. The walls themselves were adorned with unsettling paintings, depicting grotesque smiles and distorted faces that seemed to mock my confusion. The air buzzed with a strange energy, and the faint whispers of unknown voices echoed through the verdant corridors. Fear gnawed at the edges of my consciousness, urging me to flee, but the grass rooms had other plans. The doors that lined the hallway opened and closed of their own accord, leading me deeper into the heart of this bizarre labyrinth. Panic set in as the once familiar surroundings became a disorienting maze. I stumbled upon rooms that defied the laws of nature, a chamber where the grass grew upside down, and another where the ceiling stretched into infinity. Each step took me further from the reality I knew, and the grass rooms reveled in their ability to warp the fabric of my perception. The constant rustling of the grass beneath my feet added to the disconcerting symphony that surrounded me. Shadows danced on the walls, and the paintings seemed to come alive with malicious intent. I could feel unseen eyes watching my every move, and the whispers grew louder, urging me to succumb to the madness that lurked within. In a moment of desperation, I found myself in a room bathed in an unnatural, ethereal light. The grass glowed with an otherworldly luminescence, revealing twisted figures that slithered beneath the surface. As I tried to escape, the grass entwined around my ankles like serpentine tendrils, pulling me towards the heart of the grass rooms. The realization struck me that I had become entangled in a nightmare spawned from the depths of my own subconscious, 
The grass rooms were not just a physical space. No, they were a manifestation of fears and anxieties, a place where the boundaries between reality and nightmare blurred into an indistinguishable haze. As the grass tightened its grip, I surrendered to the inevitable. The dentist's office, a distant memory, felt like a world away. I became one with the grass rooms, a captive of the surreal and nightmarish realm that had claimed me as its own. The last thing I heard was the haunting laughter of unseen entities as the grass consumed me, leaving only an empty echo in the bizarre corridors of the ever-shifting liminal space. I was just a little kid, with a heart full of curiosity and head brimming with dreams when I stumbled into the grass rooms. It all started innocently enough. I was chasing a bouncing ball that had rolled away from the playground and into the oddly inviting entrance of a nearby building. The transition from the mundane world outside to the grass rooms inside was seamless, like stepping into a magical wonderland. The grass beneath my tiny sneakers was soft, and the air carried a sweet fragrance that filled me with childlike delight. The walls were adorned with colorful drawings of whimsical creatures, and the entire place felt like a playground on steroids. Giggling with excitement, I ventured deeper into the grass rooms, unaware that the boundaries between reality and imagination were about to blur in the most unexpected way. The corridors seemed to stretch endlessly, revealing doors that led to fantastical realms, a room with floating balloons, a chamber filled with talking animals, and a space where candy grew on trees. As I explored the grass rooms, the wonder in my eyes slowly gave way to confusion. The grass seemed a bit too perfect, the colors a tad too vibrant. It was as if the entire place had been meticulously designed to captivate my innocent imagination. I couldn't shake the feeling that I was a character in a story, a pawn in a game I didn't quite understand. Then, as I turned a corner, I stumbled upon a room that shattered the illusion. In the midst of the fantastical landscape, I caught a glimpse of a high-tech control room. Wires, computers, and a group of people in lab coats working diligently to manipulate the grass room's every aspect. My eyes widened with realization. The grass rooms weren't a magical realm, but an elaborate set a carefully crafted illusion designed to capture the hearts and minds of unsuspecting visitors. I felt a mix of disappointment and betrayal, wondering why anyone would go through such lengths to create a fictional paradise. As I continued to explore, I discovered hidden cameras and microphones strategically placed to capture the reactions of those who entered. It dawned on me that the grass rooms were not just a random occurrence, they were a marketing ploy, a clever scheme to showcase the capabilities of NVIDIA GPUs. The realization left me torn between the joy of uncovering the mystery and the disappointment of realizing the fantastical world I had believed in was nothing more than a staged performance. The magic crumbled, and the grass rooms transformed from a place of wonder to a surreal advertisement for graphics processing power. In the end, as I exited the grass rooms with a newfound understanding, I couldn't help but marvel at the ingenuity behind the elaborate ruse. The world, it seemed, was not always as magical as it appeared. And even the most enchanting places could be conjured by the clever hands of those seeking to showcase the wonders of technology, like the RTX 4090.